uh, breaking and format ignoring creativity, his strong work, ethnic, and the desire to spread his work and message across the world. The 29-year-old uh, Soweto-born visual artist by the name of Mohao Mudisa Keng things uh, seem to have found a way to fall into place over the past few years. In the year 2011, the performance art and installation artist claimed the Cecil New Signatures Award and that built a foundation of greater things to come, including exhibiting at various galleries and and fairs across the world. Last week, Mudisa King was named as the Standard Bank Young Artist Award winner for art who will reign in 2016. Take a look. I grew up in Soweto at a time when there was a lot of tension between the ANC and the IFP. Uh, that tension sort of uh, got exposed in, in, in the way people related. So your neighbors um, and the people around you, there was always some kind of suspicion because of the nature of the politics back then. So it was interesting uh, to have that as my experience, like as an experience that opens me up to um, the world, basically. I have this memory of uh, during an exam at school, uh, we had to do, draw a diagram of an ear, and uh, the teacher came up behind me and whispered to me that I would get very good marks for the kind of diagram that I did. And uh, I think throughout school, there were moments like that that made me aware that I had a skill that uh, I could work with. My father also discovered that I had the skill and uh, he supported it by making sure that I always had material to work with. But my brother, who was also quite involved in uh, my schooling or just guidance in general, uh, had applied to UCT without me knowing. Um, so when it came to uh, enrollment, I had issues with like funds to get to uh, VEDS. But luckily, like a week later or so, I got uh, a letter from uh, the University of Cape Town to say that they were offering uh, an entrance scholarship. So I just packed and then uh, left for Cape Town. I was lucky enough to uh, be exposed to Jane Alexander, uh, who's one of the artists that uh, I, I've, I've been following. And uh, she became like a, a mentor to some extent. Um, I work mainly with uh, images or visions that I experienced myself in my own dreams. My mother would uh, tell me about her dreams and visions and the way she would describe them, I would receive them as uh, like symbols and images. And that's when I got interested in, in working with symbolism. But also with what I do with my work is that I use my biography to try to understand uh, basically the, the the lived conditions of black people in South Africa in general. Because I feel like my experiences are not very different from the next person's experiences. So by putting a lens on myself, I guess, like it, it, uh, it, it opens up that narrative. I trained as a sculptor, uh, but um, I, I progressed on to work with photography. Um, but I feel like there's a marriage in all these mediums. So for me, it's usually about uh, the image that I want to show and then trying to see what uh, medium fits best. My next step moving forward is to continue trying to take my work to the world basically. A big thank you to Standard Bank and uh, the National Arts Festival for the program that they've been running for as many years as they have. And I'm glad that I'm part of the list of artists that they've chosen as a young artist. Uh, so I'm very thankful and uh, I wish that they continue to do the work and bring out artists that uh, South Africans need to know about. So. Well, his name is Mohamed Disa a young but well-traveled uh, young artist. I know him.